Hallo Bebs. Um, okay, it looks like it is recording. I hope it is recording sound. We will have to text to test that later. Um, I purposefully put on this uh, hat um, where I feel I'm looking a little bit like strawberry shortcake or like holy hobby um, because I wanted to um, comment on um, a theme where this uh, hat uh, fit in a little bit indirectly. But uh, now I decided my theme for um, this autism and right on month uh, today is um, answering times. Like, yes, uh, there is often this discussion on the social media that are occupied with uh, pen palling. Uh, what is a timely manner to answer to a letter and it might be that we've had this topic here too um, But yeah, uh, I see this often that people say okay if it takes longer than three months two months, whatever uh, I don't answer to this person anymore and uh, Let's say I sometimes want to uh, join these discussions because I am uh, generally a very slow writer, but uh, let's say the people who really know me and who are really interested in knowing me, they know that. And uh, I've also met my share of people uh, face to face who can't randomly like give me a quick answer, who situatively can't speak. I, I'm always trying to express uh, things uh, carefully and like uh, not mention any details that are like uh, where you would recognize a certain uh, person behind because uh, a, most phenomena really apply to several people and B, um, I am very concerned about people's privacy, even though, of course, on social media, um, the people uh, partly produce uh, such an anti-privacy themselves. Um, and I would say, let's, Personally, if it was mutually agreed upon that we'd write, let's say, one long letter every three months, uh, then it's uh, not up to the people uh, to complain or to say this is a, a bad pen pal or something. Uh, I usually try to convey to people it also matters how these letters are like because um, getting a letter every three months uh, that only says I just ate eggs uh, this is just uh, no fun to me uh, but then I uh, let's say if if I get a letter like that and I mean of course I should be thankful that the people make an effort to write a letter at all and by the way, I still can't handle uh, filming with a tripod. Sorry. Um, I I would tell the people politely. Okay, it doesn't make sense to uh, send two sentences every three months uh, back and forth because I really want to develop a conversation. But let's say with some people. Um, these these words don't work. Some people are also just not word people. Some people want to be phoned or uh, be met in person. And like this is also not always uh, realistic. Uh, so I would say this is also a question of personal boundaries. Like what do you want to get out of this uh, pen paling? What do you want to get out of this? 
contact. Uh, it's not like my whole life was about pen palling. Like I uh, write considerably less letters than uh, still a year ago. Um, probably also because I'm getting much more aware of how much uh, time and energy and other resources go into my other errands. So uh, basically every single letter begins almost with the thought, where is this contact today? Or how, uh, like, like not where in which uh, place of the world, but um, what is this contact like? Uh, what are we still uh, giving to each other? Uh, and I actually mean that in a really constructive way because uh, contacts change, people uh, change. Okay, sometimes I also think that like there are situations that make me think people don't change in their essence and some contacts just don't work. Uh, but then again, this year I have made so many good pieces of experience with uh, contacts that like sort of only work on particular levels. I actually really like the picture composition with the, the hand here. I'm taking my, my life and my camera into my own hand, even though the hand takes a lot of space with this uh, phone. Um, I would actually say that uh, snail mailing is a way of slowing down and I wouldn't put a best before date on um, on a contact. Like, uh, let's say uh, today I helped someone declutter and um, my assignment was actually going through a food basket uh, because we needed a, a task <coughs> where I could just uh, sit around and say yes and no. And I must admit that like in conference with the other people who um, put away dishes and cutlery, uh, I threw away everything that was like beyond the best before date because the best before dates were like really ages ago and at the point I didn't find my phone to Google like how long does this and that last uh, beyond the best before date. Uh, I know that many uh, food items are still good for some time after best before but um, let's say this was just a context where this uh, food had got forgotten and where it just uh, didn't seem uh, safe to eat anymore. So uh, yes, uh, I also sometimes uh, let go of things when the time has come. And I also sometimes let go of contacts when, uh, when the time has come. And I mean, like when someone uh, writes to me again after some years and explains to me what happens and uh, gives me like indications that they want to have a really um, reasonable and good conversation. I think one of the most fun letters that I ever got was uh, sorry for my long silence. I just had a baby. Um, So, and I hadn't uh, got any idea or indication that this baby could come into existence before that. So, uh, actually, this was a really good, uh, cool surprise. And yes, uh, sometimes, uh, as you see on my, my hand here, um, Sometimes life just gets larger than life and I find that actually uh, cool that the people then want to to share what happens uh, What has happened? Like the good things and the bad things and I like uh, getting uh, Rather an honest text. I can't meet up today because da 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 da, -da. Um, then a person who uh, 
kind of forces themselves to meet up with me. Um, I also uh, appreciate an understanding of the fact that I sometimes just cannot go randomly to other people's houses. Um, because my brain uh, needs a neutral ground and my brain uh, doesn't want all my stuff and all this other person's stuff around the meeting. Uh, some themes are just a question of time and space. And I think I'm going to uh, finish this video here because I guess you got the idea. If you haven't, uh, please uh, say something respectfully to the effect in the comments. Um, have a conscious day with a lot of uh, fulfilling contacts. Like, I mean, even two contacts per day uh, can be a lot if they are fulfilling. And uh, now I'm going to uh, like do some art because I learned also the other day, like from, from a support group for people with neurological disabilities, when the hand is up like this, it's actually a sign, it can actually be a sign that your like central nervous system is totally overloaded. So maybe I'll even write a letter to wind down and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow if I manage that. Bye bye.